Hi there, this is Melissa. I wanted to do a little series of tutorials on the way that I use Embrilliant Stitch Artist, which is the digitizing module of uh, Embrilliant software. There are a lot of great tutorials out there already on YouTube and in some great blogs that I've seen, but I know that for me especially, I can look at 10 different blogs or videos and suddenly something just clicks for me. So I thought I would kind of throw my hat into the ring and just give a, a few little demonstrations, little tutorials on how I digitize and the order in which I do things. You can see some examples of my work at designsbylittlebee.etsy.com. Uh, That's my Etsy shop. And we stay very busy there and in the Designs by Little Bee Updates group on Facebook. So, um, first I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how I get clip art. I know it seems like there are some people who have said in the Stitch Artist group on Facebook that they really want to start um, digitizing, but they're nervous about using clip art. Um, they're nervous about whether it's copyrighted, they're nervous that somebody else will say, oh, that's my design, I had it first, uh, or uh, little worries like that. So, for one thing, we know that things like Mickey Mouse, uh, Batman, <clears throat> Disney characters, anything like that, those are copyrighted images, and it's best to stay away from those when you're digitizing if you plan on selling your work. You just... I mean, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't think the police are going to come to your house and take your computer. But it's just best to stay away from it. It's just it's copyrighted. Leave it alone. There are too many other things to do um, to, ha to, to do images that are somebody else's. Oh, another thing is I'm in the middle of a terrible sinus infection. I'm sorry if my, um, if my voice is really annoying or if I sound sick or something because I am. So I want to show you how I find clip art. I have an Etsy shop, and I like to support other Etsy businesses, and so one of my go-tos, and, and I also know, um, I'm very familiar with the Etsy interface and how to use it, so I like to get my clip art on Etsy. I like to shop on Etsy and kind of keep the whole website afloat. So, here's a tip on finding clip art that's going to be good, I mean, that's going to be okay for you to use. One thing that I like to say when someone in my Facebook group says, for example, Melissa, can you make me an applique um, banana? I say, I can make anything as long as there's clip art available that's legal for me to use. If I pay for it, if it's, if it's free, whatever, you just want to make sure that it's okay for you to use. So here's, a, I'm going to show you a great way to find out if clip art is, free, is good for you to use. Here's a little trick that I do. You get on Etsy, or you can Google this, but Google tends to have some crazy results sometimes. I get on Etsy and I type in commercial use clip, oh, clip art. And you do a search. Now, you see all these results that came up? Well, first of all, that right there, minions are trademarked, so that's not free for you to use commercially. Okay, let's go down here. You see this? Um, look at these kitty cats clip art. Those are cute. Actually, I really do like those. Okay, so you see this? Look at this description. Cat clip art, commercial use clip art, commercial use, digital graphics. Okay, that's a good sign. Now, I will go down to the description right here. And look at this seller's description. Terms of use. Okay, here we go. Personal and small commercial use. Images may not be sold, transferred, blah, blah. Images may not be used as a trademark, blah, 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 blah. Do not use, do not use this product in an electronic format that enables it to be easily copied or downloaded. That means they don't want you to just sell the cat, her cat clip art. Or his. Now that doesn't say that it's okay for embroidery digitizing. But if it were me, I would go ahead and use it because they say small commercial use. And some clip artists, I think they don't know, they may not know what embroidery digitizing is, so they're not saying it's okay or it's not okay. If it doesn't say it's okay, I go ahead and use it. Um, they, can they, they can always come back to your account and say, well, I didn't want you to use it for digitizing, but I go by the... Um, 
the old saying, I'd rather ask for forgiveness than permission. Um, I would personally use that. If you want to be extra cautious, you can always hit this button that says ask a question. And you can ask, kiss that printable store. Is it okay if I use your items to make embroidery design? And then they can say yes or no. If you click on the store name, go down here to policies on the left side of their of their page. And we're going to look at, well, they still don't have much information. Doesn't say if it's okay, yes or no. Let me find one that says specifically that you can use their, um, I think this one does. Yes, okay. This store, you see these little fishes? This is Daily Art Hub. I love this one. Um, they say terms of use. Blah, 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 blah. Right here it says embroidery. There you go. So you know that it's okay for you to use it for embroidery. Now that's what I do. That's where I'm going to end there. Um, it's really easy to get clip art. Of course, anything you draw yourself, you can take a picture of it with your cell phone. I do that all the time and then email it to yourself and upload it into Stitch Artist. And you can make um, things out of something you've drawn by hand. And of course, that's okay for you to use because it's yours. But if you don't have the time or you're just not artistic, Please don't be afraid to start using Stitch Artist because you're afraid of clip art. It's really not, um, it's really not scary. If you find something that's okay for commercial use and you use it in your digitizing, of course there's always that chance if it's something publicly available that another digitizer may come up and say, oh that looks just like my fish or that looks just like my snowman or whatever. But you know, that's just life. If it's something that's publicly available and anyone can buy it for uh, $3 and use it for a commercial purpose, you have every right to use it. So I don't want you to, to be scared of, um, of anybody else saying anything to you or of using something that you're not supposed to use. I just gave you the tools to find out if it's uh, legal for commercial use. And my next video I will start doing actually how to bring the design in to your Stitch Artist and start creating a, an embroidery file.